got hairy nipples. That's going to hurt on the way out. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Now you might have noticed that we didn't upload last week and we have a good reason. I wasn't here, I was in another country. I was in Japan trying to find some weird stuff for us to unbox and luckily I came back with quite a lot. Now to start off with, we'll go nice and light, nice and simple. I've gone ahead and raided a dollar store, a pound shop, whatever you want to call it, equivalent in Japan called Daiso and came back with a whole bag loads of just random stuff that I found. And I'm pretty sure I only scratched the surface of weird stuff that you can find in that shop. But hey, we've got a bag load. Let's see what we've got. I'm looking forward to trying some of this stuff out. So I've got quite a lot of things in here. So I don't exactly know where to start. Let me just like, just give you an idea of the, just, that's, that, this, it, this is quite a lot of stuff. All right, I've moved it all off screen. Random grab, it is. <laughs> Surprise potato. I know how to pick them, don't I? Push inside the case until you hear tab sound. Don't know what tab sound is, but okay. This is literally just a prank thing, I'm pretty sure. So if we just, uh, okay, so it's got one which is attached to a string, which is just, you push that down till you hear a tab noise. Throw them in there. You don't know which chip it is. And then one person gets loads of chips to the face. And one test, here we go. Okay, it does work. If you pull this one, you're gonna have a good time. And if you wanna speed this video up, I suggest pulling this one. Just there, just there, just gonna, just gonna pull it. Just gonna pull it. Oh no, they went everywhere. Oh, what a fun time we're having. All right, after making a mess there, I'm just gonna make even more of a mess. This is a magic trick thing. Uh, it's called mouth full of cards. I'm not exactly sure how it works. If this takes longer than two minutes to figure out, I am out. Wait, what difficulty was this? Level three. Oh man, I'm never gonna figure this out. I like the fact it tells you what to say as well. That's amazing. Like, please watch carefully. Here are all five cards. I'm putting them in my pocket now. I actually have to put these in my mouth, I think. That's awkward. Wash your hands before this performance for hygienic reasons. <laughs> are you ready for a magic trick? This is hard, all right? This is gonna put me on the ladder of magician status. Straight off the dialogue cues. You see these cards? Yeah? Please watch carefully. All five cards are now in my left hand. Now I'll put these in my pocket. You may have seen this on television. I don't know how this works. All right, next thing. <laughs> this is just a, this is a straight up duck whistle. It's shaped like a beak. Do I need to say any more? This product is not suitable for children under the age of three. Well, that was unpleasant. Well, that's just a good time, isn't it? This one's interesting. So this is, I actually have no idea. It doesn't have an English name. Oh wait, no, it does. Bear helicopter. That was easy. Then we just pump that guy in there and we watch the bear fly away. <laughs> Definitely worried that I was gonna get an eye taken out there. But what is something which is a little bit cheaper than one pound? It is quite cute. You know, this is actually quite a fun gift. One more whack, but I'm gonna proper Beyblade this stuff. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Well, prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> before I gouge someone's eye out with that. Let's go on to this. Get this thing out, we know what it does. You pull the lever, it punches things. End of, oh, it does say stuff on the side of it. The soul with which it burns. Oh, it doesn't even go that far. I mean, it's a bit of a nuisance. Do I regret spending 80p on this? Nah, it's good, I like it, it's fun. Why not? Let's move on to something else. All right, now on something even more fun you could say. Trains. Three of them to be exact. That's how they get around this, all right? These are 100 yen, which is basically 80p. And to get the whole set, you need to you need to buy each individual one. So that's how you make something from a pound shop, not a pound anymore. So we've got the rear one. We've got the front one on here. Bam, all right, now, put it like that, motor on. That works a treat. Man, that's actually quite cool. I actually really like this, like for what is, you know, you're spending like three dollars, three quid, a little bit cheaper than that actually. And what you're getting is a, a fairly good replica of a subway train from Japan. Don't fall off, don't fall off. He's good, he's good, he's good. He's not gonna be good on this turn though. No, and uh, uh, there we go, all right. Now I feel a little bit ripped off with this. This is a 200 yen product from a 100 yen store. What are they doing? Before I open this up, I should probably explain it. Uh, this is the, the shocking duck. So let's see how this thing works. So we just throw that out and... Ow, oh, f***! Uh, I, I mean, that didn't hurt at all. Here, squeeze it. No, you're right. Squeeze it. 
I squeeze the duck. I don't want to. No, no, give it a good squeeze. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, that is lethal, isn't it? I think, you know, actually, most things in the UK, I don't think you're allowed to do these actual shocking toys anymore. It's all vibration. I'm pretty sure that is a pure electric shock. One push on the wing only turns on the light. Push both wings simultaneously to deliver shocking electric current. So one side, push down, turns on the light, and then the other side is just excruciating pain. All right, one squeeze, light, second squeeze. <laughs> you get like a proper muscle spasm. You kind of get used to it, but oh, that's painful. All right, the duck is going to one side. Let's just lay off the whole electrocuting myself thing, shall we? On a lighter note, here's a clapper. It, it, oh, it's actually just called a clapper. All right, fair play. He's got a cute face and a hat though which is why I bought it. I don't know if that's a good reason to buy something, which is obviously just a piece of tat. You out, you out, nice and simple. It's wearing a tie. That is amazing. <laughs> Worth my money. I haven't wasted any money so far. I'm happy with all my purchases. In fact, I'm so happy I bought two. See now, anytime that me or you do anything good, we can just whip out these to congratulate ourselves. Hey Ben, I think you did a really good job today. You too, Charles. Speaking of congratulating, I don't know what this is, but I've seen it on anime before. <laughs> this is a decorative ball. It's literally all it's called, but apparently you pull a string, something comes out and way, well, hey, congratulations. So let's give it a go. It's already coming loose. So let's just get this going. We hang it up like that. We pull this string to break the paper tab because it's cheap like that. And hey, what does it say? A medito? I think it says a meditator. I'm not sure. That means congratulations, I think. Answers on the postcard. I'm really not sure. Speaking of congratulations. Now, I know after seeing all that, you must be thinking we must be done here. You must have found all the gold, most literally. But trust me, there's more. Here it is. This is breasts. <laughs> okay, literally translates to instant boobs. <laughs> Attach them to your chest. Give them a squeeze. They inflate and you get full boobs. Apparently. Let's see how well that works, shall we? It's, oh, oh. Oh. So these are the fake boobs. Oh my god, that is impressive. Okay, so I've got to stick these to my chest. Stick this right on my nipple. So there we go. So at the moment, I'm, I'm an A cup. Uh, maybe. But now if I, if I squeeze them... If I just really crush them right here, maybe that's going to be... Ah! Well, one's definitely going. All right. Let's just make the other one go. Two-handed. This boob's not going. This one's still going. Uh, Mom, are you proud of me? <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. Other one's going. Yeah, this is problematic. <laughs> I can still hear it going a little bit, but I think we're pretty much at full inflation. You boys can have this size in a matter of seconds with the help of Pound Shop Goods. And you know what? Now I'm equipped with these puppies. That's going to be it for a... Hey, eyes are up here. Thank you. That's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you really liked it, subscribe. We also have Facebook and Twitter. Follow us on there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Farewell. Just when you think you've hit a whole new low, you just keep going lower.